Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna do a review on this Farberware 10 cup coffee maker and espresso maker, all in one. It retails for $150, it, it is on sale for $130 right now. So first we're gonna make an espresso, then we're gonna make a full pot of coffee. Now the display in real life is solid. It's just doing that in the video. So on the right side, we do have a 10 cup carafe. We do have a warming plate that's gonna keep our coffee warm. We can turn the craft side on and start our brew, and we also have an espresso side. So on the coffee maker side, it does come with a reusable filter, but you can put a number four cone filter in here, a paper filter. There's the basket, and here's where you're gonna put the water. There's the brew head. Over here on the espresso side, we do have a water tank. Now my water tank does leak out the bottom of that valve a little bit. Um, so I'm just going to leave it installed and put my water. It doesn't leak when I have it installed, but I'll just have to fill it up manually. On this side of the machine, we do have a steam wand and we've got this lever to turn the steam wand on and off with. Okay, so on the espresso side, here's our port of filter and we've got a double shot and a single shot. They both have this one needle at the bottom, but they've got a bunch on top. Same with the double shot. Now to put the cups in, you're gonna line that up with this spot right here. And then it goes in and then it may turn on you, but if you need to take this out, there's like a notch here, line that up, and then it should come out. It can be a little tricky. So it does come with a scoop. That scoop is about one tablespoon. And we also have a tamper that we're gonna tamp down the espresso. And we also have this little cleaning tool. So if these ports, if that port gets clogged, just press this button right here and your cleaning tool will come out and there's these little uh, metal points you can use to clean. So on the espresso side, here's the shower head where the hot water is gonna come out. So when you first plug this in, we gotta prime the pump on the espresso side. You're gonna set the time by hitting the hour and the minute button, but you're gonna come over here and turn the espresso side on. It's right here. These controls are a little dim. Now, these are gonna flash at you, but they're gonna keep flashing at you, the single shot and the double shot, because it's not primed. The pump isn't primed. All you got to do is turn this knob all the way to steam and you're going to get hot water. The pump's going to come on and you're going to get water coming out. That's going to prime the pump. All right. That may take a while. It took about a 30 seconds when I first did it. Once water is flowing out pretty good for a while, go ahead and turn this off. And now these lights will go solid after a minute. That means you're the temperature, it, the water is up to temperature inside that you can do a single shot or a double shot. Now, if I want to use the steam wand for steam, I've got to press the steam button. These two buttons are going to go out. The steam light is flashing. Once it's solid, now I can turn this on and get steam out, but I'm going to do an espresso first. So you got to deselect the steam and now you go back to espresso. So it does not come with a container to steam your milk in. You're going to have to use, like you can steam milk in your coffee mug is fine. Um, Walmart does sell this thing you can steam milk in. Mr. Coffee has this little uh, milk jug that you can steam, but it does not come with, with anything to steam it in. Okay, so for the espresso side, you are going to need some espresso ground coffee. It is ground at a fine grind. This Cafe Bastelio, this is a really fine grind. Now, Coffee Maker uh, coffee is ground at a medium grind. So if you have a grinder that can grind at a fine grind, that's what you're going to want to use for the um, espresso side. Now I'm releasing my own coffee, just to dad, simple sip. I'm gonna, it's a dark roast. I'm gonna be grinding some of it up into a fine grind. So I do like this OXO uh, grinder. I can put it on a fine grind and it does a really good job. It retails for about a hundred bucks. So as far as I know, Kat, this is the only espresso ground coffee for sale at Walmart that you can buy already ground. Now it is a dark roast and it does really well in these espresso machines for making cappuccinos and lattes. I'm going to be doing the double shot. The double shot's going to get us three ounces of espresso. If we were doing the single shot, we would get 1.5 ounces. So this can be a little messy and you're going to, so for a double shot, you're supposed to use a scoop and a half, but I found using two scoops works the best. And we can see this is, I ground this as my own coffee. We're going to put it right in here. You want to kind of just get it nice and even. Then we're going to tamp it down lightly. All right, so then you're just gonna tamp it. Get everything off of the ears. You don't want anything up here when you put it in the machine. And give it one more tamp. Now I do notice when you do tamp it, these things kind of bend, they're little plastic things. So it'd be nice if that was nice and flush 
and you could tamp it like that. Okay, so you're gonna put this in. You're gonna start off over here. It's, the ears are gonna go up, and then you're gonna turn it. So there's where the ears go up. Now you gotta turn it to the lock position. It can be a little hard. You're gonna have to hold the machine. There. Yeah, so getting that handle to the 90 degree position, that can be a little hard. You gotta hold the machine. So I wish this was a little bit taller. It's all, you can only get about a three and three quarter inch cup underneath there. It does have a drip tray that comes out, but you have to keep the drip tray installed. I mean, you could take the drip tray out, but then you're gonna be cleaning up water inside there. Okay, I got my espresso in, got my water in. I've got it on, these lights are solid. Now I'm gonna press the double shot, which is the bottom one. try to catch the temperature. It does a pretty good job with temperature. That's 205 degrees coming out. 205 degrees. And it is leaking around the portafilter. Sometimes I do get it leaking around the portafilter. I might have put too much coffee in. Okay, so here's my espresso shot. Again, it makes three ounces. And you end up with a temperature you know, around 160. Okay, so now we're gonna take the portafilter off. There's how it did. Now I do like to clean that shower head and I'll just leave the portafilter off. I'll put a cup under there, just, just do a single shot. That kind of just cleans it really quick and you can even stop it short of that even. If you press the button again, it does stop it. So just that little bit of water did clean that. Now, if you wipe that down, be very careful because it's super hot. Okay, so we're gonna hit the steam button now to turn the steam on. That's gonna flash until the water gets up to temperature. Once that's solid, now we're ready to do the steam. So it does say there will be a little bit of water in the line, so just turn it to steam for a minute, and get the water out, and then turn it back off. Now, I've got this container. Now, it doesn't take a whole lot of milk because as we steam the milk, it's gonna expand in size and you're gonna keep the wand just below the surface of the milk. So let's put it in here and turn it on. And you can kind of touch the side. You don't wanna over get your milk too hot, but this can burn you too. So you're just gonna kind of keep track of it. It's doing a good job. It's increasing in size. We're getting a lot of froth on the top. Again, be careful, it's, it's still really hot. It doesn't take long at all. Okay, we're gonna turn it off and then move the wand over the drip tray. Okay, so let's make our latte or cappuccino. Let's add our espresso first. Now we can add the milk, the froth milk. Now, depending on how much a latte or cappuccino you'd like, you're gonna pour it in. Now you're gonna to have to add some syrups. If you want a caramel latte, add some caramel at this point, about two tablespoons. And I also like to add just a little bit of vanilla. I think that does help with the taste. So I like to do about one, two, and then just a dab of French vanilla. Doesn't take much at all. Okay, so let's give that a stir. Now, there was more froth in there. I had to let this sit for just a little bit while I had to do something, and the foam kind of went down a little bit, so I lost some of my froth, but it is kind of airy. Okay. So the three ounces might be too much. I might do the single shot, which is an ounce and a half. That's a, it still tastes like espresso pretty good, even though that's got a lot of milk and sugar in it. Um, it tastes it tastes okay, but I do prefer it to be a little sweeter. Now it doesn't have any of the bitterness to it. It just still kind of tastes like coffee. Okay, I'm not happy with my drink. I want let's make us. This is a single shot. So a single shot says it takes one scoop. I do find it needs just a little bit more. You want to kind of just even it out, and then just a light pressure to make it nice and even. Get all the, the espresso off of these ears. And there's what it should look like, just right below the surface. Even for the double shot, that's what it should look like. 
Okay, let's put the single shot in. You're gonna do the... Finding that can be a little tricky and you really have to hold the machine. There. And now we're gonna do a single shot. And again, that's gonna be 1.5 fluid ounces. Okay, let's try something a little different. Let's froth our milk in our cup. I think transferring it from cup to cup kind of really takes a lot of the froth away. So I got it in the cup that I'm gonna be drinking out of. Again, you wanna purge the water first. Okay, now we got steam. All right, now we've got just steam. We're gonna turn it on. Again, keep it just below the surface. Okay, let's turn it off. Okay, now we can dump our espresso in. Now let's add our syrup. About two little pumps there. A little bit of French vanilla. Let's give that a stir. You can top that with whipped cream. All right, now let's give it a taste. Okay, so now that's starting to taste pretty good. Maybe a little bit more milk, but that's really starting to taste good with the ounce and a half of espresso. Okay, now let's make a pot of coffee. I've got the craft filled up to the tin mark. Let's make a full 10 cups. The craft pours really nice. Now, whatever amount of water we put back here, that's what it'll brew. There is a window on the side to let me know exactly how much water I've installed. Now, it takes a while for it to come up though. Got the permanent filter in. Let's put one tablespoon per cup we're gonna brew. You could use the scoop. That is again about one tablespoon. So one, I'm gonna put 10 tablespoons right there in the filter. Okay, I got 10 tablespoons. Again, I got my own Just a Dad Simple Sip coffee that I'm getting ready to release. And we got our water installed. Okay, so we can turn the espresso side off. Let's turn the coffee maker side on. We've got brew now. We can do a one to four cup, but even if you press that one to four cup, it's still gonna brew whatever amount of water you have in the back. It'll just brew it at a different um, rate so that it extracts more flavor if you've got a smaller amount of water. We can program this. We have an add water light and we have a clean light. So we're just gonna hit the brew now button right there. Okay, so we're gonna time it. We're up about to the two minute mark. It's started brewing. We've got about a cup in there already. Let's just take a sneak peek real quick. Yeah, it looks like it's doing a good job brewing coffee. Okay, we're at the six minute mark. Let's see if we can get the coffee temperature. Coffee coming out the bottom is 182. Let's take a sneak peek. Somebody's come for her treat. She likes her treat. She always knows to come when I'm doing a video. Okay, the temperature up top is around 186. Okay, so around the 11 minute mark, we're topping off at the 10 cup. So we're just about done. Now the warming plate will stay on for two hours after it's done brewing. You'll get three beeps when it's gonna turn the warming plate off after two hours. But if you wanna just turn, like say you get your coffee and you wanna turn it off, just hit the off button right there. Okay, so let's pour ourselves a cup of coffee. Now the craft pours really fast. It pours nice and it's easy to handle. And our cup of coffee. Yeah, that's a really hot cup of coffee, 172. Yeah, it's too hot to drink right now. Okay, so I added a little bit of cream and sugar. Okay, it, it makes a really good uh, cup of coffee. It's very hot. My coffee bean is, is kind of a medium to dark roast. It's, very, it's got some uh, really smooth, rich notes. Now the coffee maker doesn't beep at you when it's done brewing. 
it's only going to beep at you when it's going to turn the warming plate off. So after it's done brewing, it keeps the warming plate on for two hours, then it beeps at you. But let's go ahead and turn it off now. Let's see how we did up here. Yeah, it didn't overflow the filter basket. It looks like it did a good job brewing. So there is a clean light on the espresso side and a clean light on the coffee maker. They're, both those lights are going to come on after 100 brews. And then that's telling you it's time to descale it with vinegar. I like that it does come with a pretty decent manual, kind of talks about everything. Now it does say it's 120 volts, 60 hertz, 14.6 amps, or 1,750 watts. Okay, let's talk about this for a little bit. I, I think for, you know, I would definitely not pay 150. You know, this probably needs to be around $100. Farberware, um, if you have, again, I don't like to give negative reviews. Um, this coffee maker, it can make a good cappuccino or latte. It takes a little bit of work dialing in the espresso with the right grind. And, but the coffee maker side, it, it just works. It works really good. It makes a great cup of coffee. The espresso side, the steam one, I thought the steam one, I don't know if it's lacking some circulation. I might have had, you know, it all depends on your milk too. You, you could have a, a jug of milk that froths really well and then the next time you buy it, it doesn't froth very good at all. So that might have been my part, but I would have liked to seen the frother just, um, the steam one, froth the milk a little bit better. I thought the double shot, three ounces in a double shot, that's a little too much. I would like to see that more right at two ounces. And again, Farberware, so they sold a dual coffee maker that had a K-cup on one side and a coffee maker on the other. I did a review on that. They sell a bunch of those at Walmart. Um, I, in the comments, I did see quite a few comments about that thing not lasting very long and not working. So I don't know how long this would last. You know, Farberware, again, it, it does seem like it's not made. It, is, it does seem like it's made pretty cheap. But if you have this coffee maker, you know, it's going to work. It's going to, you're going to be able to make some drinks with it. It's just going to take a little bit of extra work. And I think there are better machines out there, but you do have to spend probably a hundred dollars more. DeLonghi makes an espresso coffee maker. Um, it's, it is a lot nicer, but it is a lot more expensive. I do wish the screen up here was a little more, you know, the buttons don't light up the best. I mean, you can see them, you know, the control panel, and there is a piece of plastic on it, make sure you remove that, but I wish the control panel was just a little more user-friendly as far as seeing it. It's very intuitive as far as what to press and how to make it work. All right, measurement time, let's go, you know, 12 and a quarter inches, height-wise, 13 to there, but we gotta lift the lid up. Super tall lid, 23 and a half inches tall. It's not gonna fit under kitchen cabinets. It does have cord storage. It's a two prong cord, 24 inches long. Again, my water tank leaked. Um, I don't know if it's just mine. I even cleaned out that little check valve and things and you know, I was really trying to get it not to leak, but yeah, it just leaks. So this will be one of my free giveaways. I am gonna clean it all up, put it back in the box and give it away as a free prize. Be sure and check out my Facebook group page, Just A Dad Videos Facebook group page. That's where I'm gonna be doing my giveaways. I'll even be doing the behind the scenes of how I make videos. And I've got a new podcast coming out, Coffee with Dad. So you're going to see all the behind the scenes and everything, all the current stuff coming up. But the free giveaways is, is the main thing. The, the video, if you could give it a thumbs up, that really does help out my YouTube channel. Again, I appreciate everybody's support. If there's different coffee makers you would like to see me review, leave them in the comments down below. I do check my comments on a daily basis. Also, if you hit the subscribe button. Again, thanks so much everybody for your support. If you could, please like and subscribe and thanks for watching.